Hello, Anne Space Kids. Today, let's learn all about the human skeletal system. First, let's brainstorm. Why are bones important in our anatomy? At the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify the four principal types of bones and name the major bones in the human body, including their names and locations. Explain the functions of the skeletal system, such as providing support, protecting organs, and enabling movement. And collaborate with group mates and create a visually appealing poster that educates others about the skeletal system. Let's discuss what is a skeletal system. The skeletal system provides support and protection for the body's internal organs while also serving as an attachment point for muscles. In humans, it consists of bones, joints, and associated cartilage. This system shapes our bodies, enables movement, produces blood cells, and stores minerals. Trivia time! Did you know that babies are born with around 270 bones, while an average adult has 206 bones? Wow! Amazing, right? Let's explore principal types of bones. First, long bones. Second, short bones. Third, flat bones. And fourth, irregular bones. What are long bones? These bones are longer than they are wide and provide leverage for movement. Examples include the femur, humerus, and clavicles. Short bones have a squat, cube shape, and are approximately equal in length, width, and thickness. Examples include the tarsals or the ankle bones. Flat bones these bones are thin and often curved. They serve as protective shield and provide attachment points for muscles. Examples include the ribs and scapula. Irregular bones. These bones do not conform to the shapes of the other three types. They have unique forms and functions. Examples include the bones of the face and vertebrae. The skull. It serves several crucial functions. It surrounds and shields the brain, brain stem, and eyes from external forces. This protective role is vital for maintaining the integrity of our central nervous system. Muscles, blood vessels, and connective tissues attached to its bony framework, allowing essential functions like swallowing, breathing, and vision. The shoulder girdle connects the upper limbs to the actual skeleton. It consists of the clavicle and scapula bones on each side of the body. The shoulder girdle provides structural support and allows a wide range of motion, especially at the highly mobile scapulothoracic and sternoclavicular joints. Arm bones consist of the humerus, radius, and ulna. These bones serve essential roles in supporting the upper limb and providing attachment points for the muscles responsible for arm movement. These bones form joints that allow a wide range of motion and flexibility, enabling precise manipulation of objects with the arm and hand. The hand. Hand bones consist of the carpals, metacarpals, and phalanges. The hand bones provide support and stability and enable intricate movements for tasks like gripping, writing, and playing musical instruments. They consist of carpal bones, the wrist, metacarpals, the palm, and phalanges, the fingers. Together, 
they form the foundation for hand function. The chest, the sternum, and ribs protect vital organs and facilitate breathing. The sternum shields the heart, lungs, and stomach while also serving as an attachment point for tendons. The ribs form a protective cage around the thoracic cavity and move during breathing, aiding lung function. Together, they safeguard organs and enable respiratory movements. The spine provides structural support for the entire body, allowing us to stand upright. It surrounds and protects the spinal cord and nerves which are essential for transmitting signals between the brain and the rest of the body. Also, the spine enables flexibility and movement, allowing us to walk, twist, bend, and perform various activities. The pelvis consists of three fused bones, the ilium, ischium, and pubic bone. These bones serve several crucial functions in the human body. First, they bear the weight of the upper body, stabilize it, and transmit this weight to the lower. Second, the pelvis protects the organs within the abdominal and pelvic cavities. In females, the pelvis provides a comfortable environment for the fetus. The upper leg bones include the femur or the thigh bone, which is the longest and strongest bone in the body. It forms a ball and socket joint with the hip bone and the knee joint with the lower leg bones. The patella or the kneecap connects the upper and lower leg bones through muscles and ligaments, contributing to knee movement. In the lower leg bones, we have the tibia, which is longer and thicker. It bears weight and articulates with the femur at its superior end and the tarsals at its inferior end. The fibula, located laterally, doesn't bear direct weight but serves as an attachment point for leg muscles. It articulates with the tibia and tarsal bones. The foot bones include the tarsals or seven bones allowing minor adjustment to foot position. The metatarsals forming the forefoot and the tiny phalanges, toe bones, that articulate with metatarsals and allow flexible toe movements. In summary, leg bones provide structural support, facilitate movement, and distribute weight during activities like walking and running.